Our Flicker Free plugin can fix lots of different types of flicker. Full frame flickering on time lapses or slow motion, rolling bands, or flashing in specific parts of a frame. Each type of flicker has a lot of variables and you can download the demo of Flicker Free to see if it can fix your footage before buying the plugin. The demo is watermarked with these crosshatch lines, but otherwise has the same functionality as the licensed version. To download the demo, go to our website, digitalanarchy.com, and go to the demos page. We support Adobe Premiere, After Effects, Final Cut, Resolve, Nuke, and Avid. The OpenFX version may also work in other apps that support OpenFX plugins like Magic's Vegas, but since we don't officially support them, you should try the demo first and ask us if you have any questions. After installing, open your host app and apply Flickr Free to your clip and click Demo to use it in demo mode. Again, this works exactly the same as the licensed version, except for the watermark. Flickr Free works by analyzing a range of multiple frames for each actual frame of video, so you may need to render to get real-time playback. You may want to change your preview resolution during initial testing for faster rendering, especially if your footage is 4K or larger, and set an in and out point to create a short test area. Flickr Free has a list of presets, rolling bands, time-lapse, etc. These are good starting points and will often solve the Flickr without any other changes. You can adjust the settings after setting a preset and the dropdown will change to custom. Select a preset again to reset the settings to that preset's default. Select one that best describes your type of Flickr and then we can tweak the settings. For footage like this time-lapse where the whole frame is flickering, you'll want the sensitivity at a high value like 30. If flickering is slower, you'll need a higher time radius which sets how many frames are analyzed before and after each frame of the clip to detect the flicker. If the flicker's faster, you can lower the time radius, which will render faster and cause less motion blur. Detect motion and motion compensation fix motion blur that can be caused by the deflickering process. If I uncheck motion compensation and set detect motion to off, I can see some ghosting around the flags. So I'll want to turn one of them on. You can try motion compensation, detect motion fast, and detect motion slow on a paused frame to see how they handle any motion blur. Each one of these uses a different algorithm to correct motion blur and ghosting. For some of the more difficult cases, you may need a combination of both, but a lot of the time one or the other will do the job. For rolling bands or other flicker that's happening in only a specific area, you'll need a lower sensitivity setting like three. For sensitivity, lower values add more motion blur. For lighter, faster moving bands, you may be able to remove them with a sensitivity in the 5 to 10 range. For slower, darker banding, you'll need a lower value like 3. Like with the previous example, fast moving flicker can be fixed with a lower time radius. If the bands are moving slowly, you'll need a higher time radius to analyze more frames. The maximum setting for time radius is 10. And I can see that setting detect motion to off causes a lot of motion blur, so I'll need to use either detect motion or motion compensation to remove the banding without blurring the shot. It's possible that very dark or slow rolling bands or other intense types of flicker won't be fixable. You can test if Flicker Free will be able to remove the rolling bands by selecting the rolling bands preset, then set the time radius to 10 and set detect motion to off. These are very aggressive settings that will likely cause the footage to be extremely blurry. If this removes the banding, you can then try to dial in more balanced settings that remove the flicker and remove the motion blur. If this doesn't remove the banding, the clip is probably not fixable with Flicker Free. If you aren't sure if a clip can be fixed, you can always send a sample of the original footage to us at cs at digitalanarchy.com and we can see if we can find settings that work. If Flicker Free does fix your footage while using the demo, you can purchase a license and enter it in the effect controls to remove the watermark. To send us a sample of your footage to see if it can be deflickered or if you have any questions about Flickr Free or any of our other plugins, send us an email at cs at digitalanarchy.com and you can download the demo of Flickr Free or any of our other plugins at digitalanarchy.com.